Hey, Marcus. Hey. Um, we saw you guys kind of go from a more balanced offense to a lot of passing last week. You know, are you guys still figuring out the offensive identity? Is that something that you have in your head of what you want it to be and it, you know, is still getting worked out on the field? Like, what does that process right now look like of defining who you guys are as an offense? We're going to do whatever it takes to move the ball and score touchdowns. And, you know, what would I like my identity to be? I'd love to be in 12, 13 personnel, huddle up, run about 58 plays a game, rush for about 275, throw it for about 220, win on third down, win in the red zone, and go home and win games. But it's not that easy. So we have to, like we did in the bowl game, we have to be creative and find ways to win games. We understand we have to run the football, obviously a lot, a lot more consistently uh, to stay on the field longer and help our defense out there as, as well. But we're going to do whatever we got to do to move the ball. And last week, the game, you know, the game became one of those games where, you know, you didn't have a lot of time to establish the run. You had to get the ball down the field. You had to, you know, try to score points. So that's what we tried to do. Uh, you mentioned third downs there. That's been kind of a hit and miss thing so far this year. What's the key to kind of stabilizing that, I guess? And is there any players you really look for on those plays? I know Wells got a lot of third down targets last week, especially. Yeah, we, it's weird because we had 75 plays and only had 10 third downs. So I think we did a really nice job of converting a lot of second and tens last week. Uh, you know, we had a couple third and ones we didn't get that we got on fourth down. and, and uh, But you hit it on the nail. I was, you know raising, raising uh, a stink about that yesterday on our staff meeting, we've got to be better on third down. We can't go three for 10 on third down, not with our quarterback and receivers and tight ends that we have. So we've got to have a good plan and, and start really executing at a higher level in that situation. Hey, Marcus, how would you assess Spencer's first SEC game as a starter in the SEC? And then also, Antoine, he leads the SEC in receiving yards and receptions right now. What do you think has been the secret to his success so far this season? Uh, starting with Spencer, I think that, uh, you know, he he was a captain the last game. Uh, he's got a lot of family ties to Arkansas. Uh, I think he handled it really, really well. It was never too big for him, never too fast for him, never too loud for him. He communicated at an elite level. Uh, he delivered the ball in time. I think he improved from week one to week two. And I think, you know, based on the practice I just watched, you know, just then he's, he's improving from week two to week three. So I'm very pleased with where he is and his progress. Uh, and he continues to just grind away at it to be his, you know, the best him. Uh, Juice, it's funny. We were, you know, telling the team or the unit the other day, there's not one personnel grouping on the sheet that's like specifically, let's get Juice the ball. Uh, on this play, it's just he's a guy that really plays really, really hard. He's where he's supposed to be at the right time. And we throw him the ball, and he goes up and makes plays. So, you know, based on uh, kind of formations and stuff we were in the last game, he was getting some good matchups. And, you know, he was able to win those one-on-ones. But, you know, Juice is, like we said in here last week, just a really hard worker, very competitive, and hopefully continues to uh, improve himself as well. Set, you guys are obviously breaking in so many new faces on this offense from the skill position standpoint. How do you balance good or bad what you see on the field versus knowing it's probably going to look a lot different in three to four weeks with all these guys kind of gelling? Uh, I mean, it's a, it's I don't know if it's a problem, but it's you know, it's good to have all these guys that, that can do different things. I think everybody's starting to fit into their role and fit into you know uh, certain positions and certain personnel groups. Uh, you know, I, I, can, I think it will continue to grow, and there'll be more guys making more plays as we get going and. Uh, Spencer continues to get comfortable uh, in the offense. So Coach Beamer talked about you guys having some success running the ball on first and second down against Arkansas, and even though the rushing numbers might not pop off the page at you. When you look at the run game, how do you kind of evaluate it, and how do you kind of determine what is successful in the run game and what's not? Uh, well, um, we had – I'm not going into that coaching spill that that was, but we did. We we ran. We there were certain plays. First and second down, we averaged five yards a carry on 12 runs. We had four or five carries on the goal line where we were just trying to bust it in, running belly plays, and we had two or three from third and one. We were trying to do the same thing. So those are going to be one yard gains, and it's going to hurt your overall average. And then you throw in sacks and things. But we had 12 runs where we actually handed the ball off from first and second down, and averaged you know, five yards a pop. So we have to do that more, and we have to do it more consistently. Uh, but, you know, I think it just comes down to me. You know, I've got to, I've got to give our guys more runs, uh, you know, to start a game so that they can get going and get a feel for it. I don't know if that answered your question. Not halfway through it, I was thinking about something else that I don't know if I've even answered your question. All right. 
uh, <clears throat> both Shane and Spencer uh, last week really praised the offensive line. They obviously took a lot of heat after the first game. What what changed from game one to game two that was so much better? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll say it again. Georgia State is really, 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 really good and talented up front, and they're a little bit undersized, but they're just so quick in what they do. And we, again, knew it was going to be – it's going to look really sloppy. Uh, we didn't want it to look sloppy. didn't want it to look that sloppy, but they're really good. So I'm not going to take anything away from those guys and how they play. I think it's just getting to play and continue to play and getting out in the games and, and just just playing ball. You know, we've challenged them all week this week that they have to improve. You know, we've got to protect our quarterback. And if you can protect our quarterback, then we have a chance for good things to happen. So. Uh, you know, I love those guys, not down on them at all. I'm their biggest protector, and I think they do a, you know, a, a hell of a job. They're tough. Um, you mentioned the running backs there. We saw a lot more of Juju McDowell last week than we did against Georgia State. How is he kind of fitting into the offense and maybe some of the packages you guys are calling? Well, that was a great game for Juju just because, you know, we weren't running the ball. We were throwing the ball, and he was, you know, the protections. We were – he wasn't – he was in the protections, but wasn't a key factor in the protections, so he wasn't getting outmatched. So it was a good game for him to get some reps and then get him out on the perimeter like we did. Uh, you know, Juju has a role in this team and on this offense just as a leader. Uh, you know, his, it'll continue. He's going to have his, his plays every single week to, to get the ball in his hands. So you guys were obviously explosive against Arkansas, but inconsistent probably in between those explosive plays. How – schematically from a coaching staff perspective, how do you go about being a little bit more consistent if those explosive plays aren't hitting at the rate they were against Arkansas? Uh, I wish I knew that answer. I'm, again, not trying to be funny. If I did know that answer, we sure as hell wouldn't be inconsistent ever. Uh, I think we just had to keep coaching, keep peeling back, just keep doing things that our guys know how to do, let them free their minds up and go play. And that's what we're trying to do right now is just be as – simple. I don't know, Aristotle, someone said simple is the true genius. Like we're trying to be the most simple uh, offense in America that can go execute and attack defenses. And I think we just keep working at that and we keep getting a little bit better each week. And I think we're going to continue to improve as we as we move forward. Uh, Marcus, when you have a guy like Spencer with his, his arm talent, playmaking ability, as a play caller, does that maybe give you the tendency a little bit more to maybe call a pass in a play where maybe, you know, last year you may not have called a pass? I mean, how does that sort of just having him uh, affect you uh, as a play caller? Yeah, 100%. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I go into every game, you know, we're going to spin that thing and throw it down the field. And that's what we said going into the into the season. So uh, that's not going to change. I mean, if it's there and you're going to give us certain coverage, we're not just going to run the ball just to be hard-headed. We're going to take advantage of it. And so, uh, you know, again, to answer your question, it, it makes it, it – it, it's – it's addicting at times because you see that, you know, you got that and you want it, but you do have to find a way to run the football a little bit more. Y'all can see what's weighing on my subconscious yeah. is running the football a bit more. Yeah. Yeah. I, guess, <laughs> I guess now you mentioned trying to find things this offense does well now that you have two games on tape, a little bit more of a sample size. What do you feel like are the strengths of this offense that you're going to try and accentuate over the course of the next 10 games or so? Oh, I just think we have some playmakers, you know, I think we have to get I have to get our tight ends involved a little bit more in the passing game where they can showcase their skill set. I think we have a really good quarterback. Obviously, we got some good wide outs. I think our running backs have, you know, they've run the ball well uh, when given the, the opportunity. And I think they've done a really nice job for Marshawn where he was last year to this year, catching the ball in the backfield. He's been a weapon for us. So I think just, you know, continuing to develop and sharpen our tools and and just seeing where the season takes us. I mean, each week's going to be a different story. I mean, it'll be a total different narrative this week and then the next week and the next week. So we're just going to keep fighting and keep keep growing and keep working. Thank you, guys.